In this video, we will talk about how to take the results from our linear regression and project them into the future. In the last video, we took the deseasonalized data that we computed in the previous step and did a linear regression through the deseasonalized data. And we got this result. We have an intercept of 101.0 and a slope of 5.21. The original data is drawn here in what shows up as green to my eyes. I'm not sure how it shows up to you. And then the orange line is the deseasonalized data. And then the linear regression give a, gives us something like this dashed line going through the middle of it. We had nine data points in our original data set and then our deseasonalized set. So we are looking at quarterly data and we want to project the next year into the future. You could go as far into the future as you want. I'm just going to go four periods into the future. So we know the intercept is 101, the slope is 5.21. So let's see what the next period will be. Again, we have nine periods. So we're talking about periods 10, 11, 12, and 13. So for the next period will be when t equals 10. So we have 101 plus 5.21 times 10. So this gives us 101 plus 52.1 gives us a straight line forecast of 153.1, and that's kind of what my line looks like. It's so sloppy, it's hard to tell, but it, but at least it, it passes the you know rough eyeball test. It looks like it's approximately in the same place. So that's the process. It's just that simple. I will go ahead here and quickly go through the next three periods so you can follow along just to make sure that you have the process down correctly. Okay, so using the results of our linear regression, we can make a straight line forecast for period 10, we get 153, period 11, we get 158, period 12, we get 163, period 13, we get 168.7. So we have projected the growth on into the future. And in the next step, we will multiply those times the seasonal factors to get the final seasonalized forecast. I hope this has been helpful.